Hello everybody. My name is Charlie Uldal Christensen. I'm 29 years old and I come from Denmark. This is my first um, story here on Wonder Tales. So I think I will uh, start by simply introducing myself, my project, uh, the journey I'm undertaking now. Um, because having this background knowledge, uh, my following posts will make a lot more sense. Two years and ten months ago, I started walking from Denmark in the north of Europe and down south. Since then, I've been walking 11,500 kilometers and I'm now in Togo, uh, which is my 18th country out of 30 on my route. Obviously, I I had to sail from Europe to Africa and I crossed a few rivers here in Africa with a canoe. Um, but beside that, it's only walking. No uh, uh, lifts, no hitchhiking, no nothing. I'm walking with a trolley, like a, a baby carriage in, in, where I bury, uh, in where I carry all my stuff. Uh, and I never pay to sleep. I've been on the way now for two years and ten months, and all this time I never paid to sleep. So most days I walk until the sun go down, and then I go into the bush and pitch my hammock and sleep there to the next morning. Sometimes I stay with local people. Uh, in the capitals I usually stay with expats and, uh, and spend some time. Uh, here in in Togo, uh, I only bought one month's visa, but in most bigger countries, I will stay for two to three months, because uh, beside uh, walking, the journey is about raising money. Um, uh, the 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 project is called Walking for Water, and basically this uh, this story of a white dude walking through Africa uh, is spectacular enough to create a lot of media attention in the various countries. What I'm doing is that I use this media attention to talk about the world water crisis because we actually still live in a world where thousands of people are, are dying each day from the lack of basic needs here amongst water which most of us Europeans uh, takes for granted. Um, this was an experience that became very dear to me uh, as I was staying as a volunteer in Tanzania uh, back in 2013. I stayed in a village where people were very poor and they had to walk almost 19 kilometers to the nearest water source, clean water source, and back home again. As you can imagine, that is a whole day project just to go out to get clean water. And if you have to spend so much time doing that, it is very limited how much uh, you can expect to to um, develop your, your financial situation or your society in any other way. Often people will not have the strength or the time to do that. So instead they they simply take uh, dirty water from from more nearby mud pits if there is any to find and that causes diseases for them and their children and in fact uh, the united nation says that every day 1000 children are dying because they use uh, infected water for their for their um, yeah domestic use and I think in a in a in a globalized world um, where so many have so much, um, we should be able to solve this problem. So I chose to do that in my own way by combining my passion of adventuring with this compassionate course of trying to raise money for for clean water. So um, yeah.
that was a short introduction to to the walking for water concept you can read a lot more about it if you go to my website www.walkingforwater.dk dk is uh, for denmark but the website is uh, english by default and you can also choose um the French language or Portuguese language. So uh, go and check it out. Uh, follow me on Facebook if you like. Uh, you can search uh, for Walking for Water. Then it will probably come up. Or th- you can choose the direct link. Uh, Facebook.com slash Charlie's Walk for Water. Uh, yeah, check it out. Send me a message if you have any questions. I would love to explain more about it and obviously i have uh, thousands <laughs> of uh, of uh, experiences in my package after i started this this crazy journey for almost three years ago now so um i will upload some more uh, audio podcasts about different experiences from being homeless in africa thanks for listening